Hey guys, I'm still in love with my Blackberry Classic and I love it so much that I bought a second Blackberry off eBay. So many of you requested a what's on my Blackberry video and since there aren't any or I think three videos of what's on my Blackberry on YouTube, I'll do one. So what I won't do is that I go through every single app I have on my Blackberry, like WhatsApp and stuff, because that will get very boring very soon. I'll just show you the most interesting apps I have on my phone. What's interesting is that I nearly have no Android app at all. I only have one Android app installed, because they tend to make your phone a bit slower and they tend to drain the battery life of your phone a lot quicker than the Blackberry native apps. So I have some workaround apps that I'll show you right now. So what I really love is Instagram, and I think most of you do love Instagram too. Uh, I had the real Android APK on my Blackberry, but it slowed down my phone so much. So what I did is I downloaded Inst10. Inst10 is by a developer called Nimari Studios, and he develops apps for the Blackberry operating system that are for Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Uber, and all that stuff. It's nearly the same as Instagram. It actually has the same design. Uh, the only difference is you can change into a dark mode. So on the OLED screens on some Blackberries, it will save power. You can change the color scheme to whatever you like. You can switch between accounts so easily and so quickly, and that is very useful for me. And all in all, it's just the same as Instagram. So I really, really enjoy it, and it works so fast and fluently on my Blackberry and that's why I have it installed. The next app I'll show you is Face 10. Face 10 is also developed by Nimori Studios and the app is a replacement for the other Facebook app that is available on Blackberry World but most of you know that that app is so old it was like updated a year ago it, it does nothing the, the current Facebook versions on Android do so Face 10 is a great alternative. You have all the features you want of a Facebook app. You can manage your pages, you can manage your profile, you can post statuses, you can, yeah, you can do everything you want and it works so fluently, you have no lack at all and I really, really enjoy it. A thing you have to consider is that that app costs money. It's like 2 euros and 30 cents, but it's really, really worth it. You support the developer and what he did, it is really, really reasonable. You can also write Facebook messages and Face, Face 10 cooperates with another app also from Nimori Studios called Messenger for Facebook. So if you click on Face 10 to messages and open a message, it will automatically open Messenger for Facebook. Well, what a transition. Now we're in the Facebook Messenger app and again, it does exactly what you want a Facebook Messenger app to do. You just don't have to, sorry, you just don't have to download the Android APK that slows down your phone. A great thing with all those native apps that you download from Backpay World and from the Mori Studios is that they integrate into the hub. So if you get a notification from, for example, Facebook Messenger or Face 10 or Inst10, they will get integrated into the hub. So you always know what's happening. You won't miss a message. And yeah, I, I really, really enjoy that. And only because of that, I think it's so reasonable to pay those two or three euros for each app. I also use the native Twitter app. I think it's good enough for BlackBerry. It can do everything I wanted to do. Post tweets, post, message, uh, post images, post videos. And that is why I've included it into that list. Another app I want to show you is FastTube. The problem with YouTube is that you cannot even download the APK file because it requires Google Play services and they can't be installed on a BlackBerry device, period. So what I have, I have a workaround for that and that is called FastTube. FastTube has a version that costs, a version that is free. With a version that is free, you can watch everything you want to watch on YouTube. You just cannot log into your account. With the premium premium version, you can log into your account, manage your videos and your subscriptions. So in general, FastTube does everything you want it to do, what you want on, to do on YouTube, and that is watch videos, and basically that is what it's good for. The last app I'll show you today is an Android app. It's called Spotify, and I guess most of you know Spotify. I think Spotify 
is the best music app that is available on any device, on any app world, on any app store. Uh, the newest version of Spotify doesn't work very fluently on BlackBerry devices, unfortunately. So what I have installed on my BlackBerry is Spotify 1.7. It works very, very amazingly, actually. You have no lag at all, there's no stutter, you can do everything you want to do on Spotify, that is make playlists, download those playlists, search for new music and most importantly, listen to the music. It also works with the volume buttons that you have on your BlackBerry, so up for volume up, down for volume down and the middle to start and stop the music and that is such a convenient feature because whenever I am on the go and someone wants to talk to me, I just push that button in the middle and the music stops playing. I love that. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tour of my BlackBerry apps that I have installed on my Classic and BlackBerry Q10. If you have new recommendations, write them in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with the newest videos of me. Maybe there will be new BlackBerry videos since you seem to enjoy them. And I really enjoy doing them since I love BlackBerry so much. I don't know why, it's like an addiction. But still, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and we see us in my next video. See you then, bye.